We arrived here in Madeira. Funchal. And it's dead wind still quiet. This is Captain Frick and his first mate Pietru. We decided to chuck everything, leave the rat race and just embark on a new adventure. And that is our new home, Sisu. Join us on our epic journey as we sail the oceans, discovering new horizons, new cultures, new tastes, new flavors, new everything. It's just such a vast, vast world to explore out there. So please join us in our quest. We've just left Rand Lanzarote along Los Sailing again on our way to Madeira. There's lots of stuff to be done and seen there. So it's nuking soup tonight. <laughs> That's supper. Island Madeira. So we're about 10 miles off. We had a lovely south coming here. And we could find this amazing sunrise. Oh, this is just so beautiful. It's a 
mama waking up for a shift, but geez, when you wake up with this. I think that I'm going to hide in somewhere by a gate star. Baby, they ain't never gonna find me. I'm a renegade. Approaching our anchorage at Funchal, Mandeira. It's somewhere over there. Just finished supper in this most amazing setting. The construction of the Sao Tiago fortress began in 1614 and its purpose was to defend the city of Funchal from attacks by pirates and privateers. Royal Master Boulder Geronimo George was in charge of the works and years later the construction was completed by his son. The first phase of the construction was completed in mid 17th century and the second phase was only completed in mid 18th century. Over the years the fortress has been used for various purposes including serving as quarters for the British troops, military police, the Funchal Lancer squad was even there. It was quite a far ride with the dinghy as we anchored out almost a mile from the marina and we just dropped the pegs and we started exploring Funchal. The marina itself was not not a big marina and um, they wanted us to come in but we also saw that there will be not much maneuverability for Sisu inside that small marina. This place, baby, they ain't never gonna find me, find me. Look at my view. Besides the captain, look at that bridge. I'm sure the big, big, big passenger lines come and dock here. Yeah? This is just so spectacular. And we spoke with our neighbour. Where's our neighbour? There's our neighbour. And he reckons we've got a brilliant spot to anchor, which is over there. Because it gets quite bumpy and the water's apparently quite dirty. So I think all the big ferries on the concession boats come through here, which cannot make it life easy for him rolling to and fro the altar. So we are quite happy with our little spot. Okay, the swan, the other side. Is that? Is that 
As you can see, that is truly a rowing motion happening here. And here's the captain. We ran out of petrol with the dinghy. I've been procrastinating to put petrol in after the last week. And we ran out. There is the fish over there. We didn't okay. run out of fuel, it's just me exercising, doing my rowing exercise. Uh This guy is on his last piece of bread and he's holding on to it <laughs> for dear life. <laughs> I'm taking I'm taking home takeaways. Walking the streets of Funchal in search of cute little quaint places. just discovered a complete different side of Funchal. I am so glad we are just beginning to explore because this is so awesome. And we have another pink sunset oh. and there's just all these... Oh. Oh, oh, look at that. There's a surprise around each and every corner. Never get to open cause it's too late I could be the one who saves you from this place Baby, they ain't never gonna find me Old town was just amazing and where do you start exploring how do we select these places and we've got some couple of suggestions that we need to look at TripAdvisor or places like that and, and do our research before the time but it just means that you will come to the touristic places and you will just experience what other people think it was the best for them how do you find the new places how do you find the small places how do you how do you know that someone did not skip? How do you know someone just did what all the other tourists do? So we normally find a place and then we just go. And we've many times we have a big language barrier because they're not used to tourists. But yes, we do the tourist traps as well. 
Um, and it is awesome. But we want to find that one little jewel that only the locals know about. And we discovered that Funchal is a city full of history and it's a rich history. And all these little things that you just see that that just reminds you that it is coming from a very old time. And the day that we went shopping for some little nuts and bolts and screws, we discovered this, so we only had our phones to, to capture the moment. Next to the fort is also a public swimming pool. So every morning the people is coming there, laying out their bath towels and catch a few sun rays. For me at least, it's always such a nice sight to see Sisu there in the background, just waiting for us to come back. The fort also acts as a museum with old photographs from yesterday and long time ago. And it's always amazing to think if I step through one door or this door, how many other people have stepped through the same door?
across many of these dances and festivities and it seems like the Madeirans just look for a chance to have a nice dance. And this friendly argument was about a card game. <laughs> Every night, and sometimes even during the day, we will see these fireworks. During the day, you just see the smoke and you hear the noise. But at night, you see the spectacular fireworks. And because we were next to the fort, we've seen them many times. Incidentally, Madeira is also one of the places in the world that's regarded as the top firework place to go and see. So if you're at anchor at New Year's time, you will have the best place in the house. Next week we will rent a car and explore the rest of Madeira.